Hey, welcome to day 27. We only got three more days together, you guys, and then on the we go take like a little day break and then come back on the 26th. And I'm gonna show y'all the results from my fasting and working out. So today's topic is judgment. But before we get into that, you know, I always like to say my little Bible verse for the day. So that's how we're gonna start it off. Isaiah 60. Chapter 60, verse 3. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Hmm. No, I do not ever go in depth on these um, verses because just like some of y'all, I'm still trying to learn the Bible and I know it's a basic guide to help us all get through our day to day lives but some of the stuff I just be like huh what does that mean so it's gonna take a lot of studying which I'm not really big on doing or reading I'm not really big I know some people be like, oh, who don't like to read? But it depends. It depends on what I'm reading. I like I like action. If I'm going to read, I like action. Like, I read the whole series of Vampire, Vampire Academies. I think that's what it was. My cousin had like the whole series and I read that because it had action and then I listened to music to do everything. So I listened to music to sew, to read, to go to sleep. I just love music. So I was listening to music while reading that. So the music I was listening to kind of helped with the action and I just got through all the books. It was good. <laughs> but yeah it's kind of hard to put music to the bible and try to read it so i kind of do the little the where it reads to you but then i end up falling asleep but i'll be still listening to it but that man voice they got to record the bible he just be like and then the Bible said, and I should be like, bruh, you got to put some more pep in there. You know, I'm, I'm falling asleep over here, but <laughs> let me stop being crazy, y'all. Let me stop. <laughs> but today's topic, judgment. Um... Being too judgmental can often turn people to the path we are trying to save them from. Um, I don't know. Nobody ever told me, but I don't know if when people ask me for advice and I give it to them, I don't know if I'm sounding judgmental <laughs> if I am, I apologize because that is not my intent. Um, it can be hard to give people advice without sounding like you're judgmental. Even if you're not, it, it can just be perceived that way. Um, but... I feel like my calling is to basically be a messenger. Some would say that's a prophet. I don't know. I I wouldn't, you know, say that just yet, but some people have used that term. But I'm going to say I'm a messenger. Um 
I try to communicate in the best way I can without being too pushy or sounding too judgmental to people of what I feel God is telling me to tell them. Um, I never want anybody to think that I'm judging them. Because I have done so much in my life that I cannot judge anybody. Nobody can judge anybody because nobody on this earth has a squeaky clean closet. Nobody. So nobody can judge nobody. The only, body, the only person that can judge is the man upstairs. So... Just because I'm communicating something to you doesn't mean I'm judging you. Um, like I say, I'm just here to be a messenger. If God puts something on my heart to say to you, I'm going to say it. Because if I don't, the blood is on my hand. So to release that, that responsibility for me, I'm going to just tell you what he told me to tell you. And after that, it's your choice to want to accept it or not. Um, the, what I was about to say was going to sound so mean. I had to think about it because I was going to say after that I could care less. But I do care. I do care. It's just my mind. <sighs> You know, I've been surrounded around a lot of blunt, a.k.a. at home, <laughs> majority of my adult life. So, you know, sometimes I got to think about what I say before I say it so it don't sound like I'm being mean. But I do care, but what I'm trying to say is, it's your life. Like, the only person that could judge you is God. And I'm not going to control nobody or force nobody to do anything. I'm going to just give you the message. And then it's up to you to do whatever you want. It's your life. But be ready to face the consequences. If it's good or bad, yes, there are good consequences. But that's between you and God. What you do after that. And I feel like people in the church ministry, people that say they follow God, I think they should have a more, have that mindset when talking to people. Yes, you want to save people, but we're not here to save nobody. God can only save people. You're supposed to just be a messenger. Yes, you're supposed to connect with people and show them. Yeah, show people love. I show. I like to show people love. I'm kind of weird at it, though. <laughs> but, you know, I be trying. I try to show people love in the best way that I know how to. Yeah. So, I think a lot of people in this world need to have that mentality, not just church people. Because, just because you live your life one way, doesn't mean somebody else have to. Everybody is raised different. So, everybody thinks different. And, not just the raising, it's just... Everybody is born with a different sin. So everybody sin different. So just because you sin in one way doesn't mean somebody else's sin is worse than yours or vice versa. You know, to God, all sin look the same. So it don't matter if you feel like you're doing a petty sin or if you're doing like when the Ten Commandments sin, like, 
adultery or murder or whatever. Sin is sin. It all looked the same to him. So, we need to stop judging people on their sin and instead love them the way Jesus loved his disciples from their sin. Even though they still sin probably every now and then, the way he loved them and showed them how to try to live above it was helping them, like, you know, basically live above the sin. The sin is never going to go away. So all we can do is try to live above it. And that's what I'm trying to do right now, is live above my sin. I I, can, I got multiple sins. What? Um, premarital sex. Having a baby out of wedlock. I got, you know, what uh, J. Cole say. You got one demon, then they always invite Mo. <laughs> They're like, ooh, it's a, it's a sin party up in this, this mug over here. Like, that's how it feel like. One get in you, and then they start inviting friends over to have a party. Then your mind and be so messed up. You can't control it no more. That's how it be. That's how it be. So what are... I was going to say what are the steps to try to stop judging people. But really, it's no steps. It's just easy. Stop judging people. We need to stop judging people on their skin color. What did they call it when um like when you judge? certain races by things Ugh, why can't I think of it it's basically like by things that they say most common in that race like how they say Asian people can't drive so everybody they just feel like all Asians can't drive or all Asians are su super good at math <laughs> and karate which is probably some Asians that don't even know karate. <laughs> but people just automatically assume that because of the karate movies and stuff like that. And like, that's a, that's a judgment. Just like folks always judging black people say they criminals. And they only good at being an athlete. And... I don't know. <laughs> Whatever else they say about black people, I don't know. Which is not true. Yes, black people commit crime just like other races do. But it's not like we at the top numbers of crime. We actually not. White people commit crime more than us. They just don't go to jail for it. <laughs> they just like throwing us in jail, but yeah, those are all judgments. We are constantly judging people every day without even knowing. When you calling somebody fat, you judging them low key. You trying to say they eat too much. Or maybe you 
judging them and saying that they lazy and don't want to work out. The little stuff you say to people and about people, every day is some type of judgment. Mm -hmm. When you don't agree with somebody, you judging them. You feel you may you you calculating up in your head that they're dumb or not as smart as you because y'all didn't come to the same conclusion. When like I said, everybody's raised different. Everybody got different perspectives on life. So who's to know who's right and who's wrong? So how can you automatically jump to the conclusion and start judging folks on their intellect just because you was taught by such and such and they was taught by something else? It's some stuff that we can prove through science, yes, but it's some stuff how can we prove it? How can you prove it? You wasn't the first person here on this earth. So how can you know you right over the other person? You don't. I'm sorry, y'all. I noticed I be doing that thing with my tongue a lot. It's my braces. And it just be bothering me sometimes. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> But yeah, we got we got to stop judging people. We do. Cuz our ju judgmental thoughts is it's it's like coming between it's making a division line between male and female, between races between age, like the old people versus the young people, <laughs> it's judgment there too. Old people judging young people on the things they do, like they ain't never did it when they was young. That be getting me. Old people and church people, ooh, ooh, ooh. They feel like they get a certain age or you you get saved. It's like they get amnesia on <laughs> all the stuff they did before they got that age or before they got saved. And then they start talking to you and treating you like they past is just squeaky clean. And it's just like when you uh thought he thought when you was a young <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you sleeping with this dude husband when you was a kid, you know. But they wanna judge you because you like to party or you like to smoke. And it's just like Ooh, you cannot judge. You know all the stuff you used to do and you you sitting over here trying to judge me? Just because I sin different <laughs> doesn't make your sin better or mine's worse or whatever. We got to stop judging. We got to we gotta love everybody. I think a lot of problems come from people just wanting to be loved and accepted. Anger. Jealousy, all that. That comes from people wanting to be loved and accepted. I just recently saw this morning that this girl killed, poisoned her best friend because she got a promotion. I was like... Do y'all even work at the same job? Because if, <laughs> if y'all don't even work at the same job, what was your purpose of that? I mean, it's still no purpose of you killing somebody. But it just, I don't know. And you still 
I mean, what killing her got? How has that benefited her any anyhow? Cause she going to jail. So you, if even if y'all worked at the same job, you still not go get that promotion. Cause you in prison now. I just be wondering, like, do people fully think things through before they do it? Or they just be so caught up in jealousy and, well, that was just jealousy there. So, was she just so caught up in jealousy that she just didn't think the whole situation through? Did she not think she was going to get caught? I don't know. It's kind of hard to poison somebody and get away with it. Because they go, I don't know, maybe maybe you can poison somebody and get away with it. I ain't never poisoned nobody, so I don't know how, if, if it's possible to poison somebody and get away with it. It just seemed like when that person died, they just going to be like, who the last person she was with? Her best friend. Oh, you, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Not unless you you know, poison them over time, like, like, on them shows where the women snap or something, and they be feeding their husband poison over time, that it's just like a little bit, so it don't, you know, register in their blood or something, and then one day they just die. You know, I don't think that was that thing. I think she just like, whew. Just full on, put everything in there so she just instantly die. But, I don't know. I think that was not a smart thing to do, way of thinking. But, hey, like I said, we all, we all not raised the same. We all don't think the same. So, no judgment. <laughs> she the one gotta pay them consequences she gotta sit behind them bars for the rest of her life and think about that you know that is on her I'm sorry you guys I'm tired I don't even know why I'm tired I didn't even really do nothing today what did I do what did I do <laughs> I woke up, I helped Malia do her homework, we finished all the rest of her homework she had for this week. She got classes in the morning, at 8 in the morning, so we got to prepare for that. So, I helped her with that, I tried to clean up, but I don't know what it is with 5 year olds, it be like, you be picking stuff up. And then you turn around, and then be back in the floor. It'd be like, what is happening? Like, will my house ever be clean? Will it ever look like I actually tried to clean my house? I don't know. Well, I tried anyways. But, you know, it don't never stay. And I'm not about to just be sitting here constantly cleaning the house all day. That is exhausting. And time consuming and I won't get nothing done. <laughs> so I just wait till she go to sleep and clean up I guess. And I also cut out the pieces to put together her costume. And we went and did some deliveries. Made a little money. Maybe it's the driving that got me sleepy. Because I really didn't do nothing today. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. I apologize. Ooh, I do. I are y'all judging me because I ain't got no makeup today? I've been thinking about getting that microblading. Since my eyebrows don't grow on the end, they like it stopped like right here on both sides, and then they, it's just no hair at the ends. I don't know why they grow like that. But I've been thinking about getting a microblade. If I get that, then 
I really don't have to wear no makeup. Y'all, I hate wearing makeup. <laughs> I do. I be feeling like... I feel like I be being fake. Not the real me. Because the real me don't wear makeup. Yo, don't... Malia, on the other hand, she love makeup. She always, Ma, can I have some makeup on? Ma. I like makeup. You like makeup? Mm hmm Cause you be looking so... Beautiful. You be looking so beautiful. What'd you say yesterday? When you put on the lipstick and you was like, I look like, what you say, myself? I look like myself. Okay, they're not judging you because we talking about being non-judgmental today. Do you know how to be non-judgmental? No. Yeah, she don't because she be always talking about fat people. And I'll be like, Malia, like, leave those people alone. Some people, they can't help it. Maybe they got thyroid problems and they just gain weight. Women, it's so easy for a woman to gain weight. You never know why they. That gain meat, weight. meat. So fast. <laughs> she said they eat meat so fast. I only eat meat because her hurt. Who? You. I might even <laughs> eat meat. I'm faster, remember? Hmm? I'm faster. I might eat meat. What faster? Fasting. What's that? It's when you make a sacrifice to God. I'm making, it's different ways to sacrifice to God, but this is one of them that I'm doing. Ooh. I'm sacrificing I'm dizzy. meat. I'm dizzy. Why are you dizzy? Remember that fluid on my brain? Oh, the fluid on your brain. I need to get this child to the doctor. I need some health insurance. I think they say I'm supposed to be getting some, but who knows when it's going to come. I went ahead and took my own staples out because <laughs> they were starting to grow into my skin. So for the first time today in two, well, it'll be two months. On Saturday would be two months, but almost two months. I I haven't been able to just sit in the tub and relax because of the staples. I had to stand up on my hurt pelvis, hip, all that leg, <laughs> just hurting on the left side. I had to stand up on that and take showers because of the staples. But since I took them out myself, and yes, you guys, before y'all start judging me, I was very sterile. I washed my hands real good. Then I cleaned my fingertips with alcohol. Then I cleaned the site with alcohol, and I pulled them out. And as I pulled them out, I re-cleaned the site again with alcohol. So I was very, very sterile, you guys. <laughs> I should have been a doctor. <laughs> Malia saying, yeah. You know, somebody else told me that too. They were saying, I got this spirit of like, since, like helping. I should have been like a doctor or something. Oh, but, way back. Y'all know, Mama, I'm not. Back. Back Your back feel hurts? Ew. <laughs> What's that noise you make? <laughs> she over here sound like she about to throw up. I'm like, get off me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I can't I couldn't be no doctor. One Mama. I'm not sure how I feel about looking at people's Mama. insides. What? I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if I'm being there and be like, oh, oh, oh. Like, oh. Joey, I would like. <laughs>
blood come out. <laughs> because I I be about to throw up if somebody's throwing up. If I see somebody throw up, I'm gonna throw up. So Don't throw up. Don't throw up. I don't know how I feel about the other stuff. So and plus they be in school forever. You be in school forever to be a doctor. I'm not trying to be Mama, in school that forever. Dang, she, she rushing me, telling me my, my time is up. <laughs> I'm trying to help y'all overcome being judgmental. And my daughter is the the queen of being judgmental. At five. <laughs> and she think it's funny. <laughs> what am I going to do with her, you guys? I have yeah, to pray, baby. pray over her, rebuke her. Why? <laughs> Talk about why? Rebuke, rebuke. Why you want to kiss me? Cause I love you. Well, get out my lap. I'm telling you, she be like, why are you hugging me? Why are you touching me? Why are you kissing me? And be sitting in my lap. I just be like, girl, if you don't want me to touch you, get out my lap. <laughs> Crazy, I think she's sleepy. Oh, the baby sleepy. I want to choke you. Oh, let me tell y'all that sleep music that no. they got on on YouTube. <laughs> that thing works like a charm. No, no, when it doesn't. I cannot get her to go to sleep, I put that music on and she be comatose in like two minutes. I'd be like, this thing is a miracle worker. <laughs> we listen to it every night. It be put, it be knocking me out too. <laughs> I'm like, damn. I'm and, to... <laughs> and the kitty too. Yeah, and the kitty. It put the kitty to sleep too. I'm telling you, I don't know what they do in that music. It be like the music they play when you get a, a massage or something. It be, it's called sleep. I sleep music. That's what they call it. But I tell you, I be trying to put her to sleep. Put myself to sleep. And then I wake up like, what happened? And the cat be sleep too. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that music. Maybe the witch. The witch. That's her theory. Okay, we not going to hold you guys up no, no more. No, more. We going to talk to them tomorrow. We only supposed to do 30 minutes. We went over our 30 minutes. So, see you later. Thank y'all for coming, mm -hmm. listening, watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's stop tr being... <laughs> Let's stop being judgmental, you guys. We need to show more love. A person is going to do what a person want to do. All we can do is... Try to give them the message. Then up after that, it's up to them to do what's best for them as they feel. But hey, go. No. we should just love everyone and pray for them. Because God is the only person that can save anybody in this world. So just pray for them. That he might change their heart and their ways for the better. Save their soul. Before time is too late. Thank y'all. I love y'all. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm telling you. I just had a salad with that. Imitation chicken. <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep. Do I look like I, I lost some weight? You guys, be honest. Well, I don't know. Y'all probably ain't gonna tell me anyways. Because don't nobody ever comment on my videos. I ain't judging y'all. But I'm just saying, y'all don't ever leave no comments. Y'all don't want to talk to me, I guess. I see how it is. I'm telling y'all. I, when I say, let's talk, let's talk. Y'all don't want to talk. Then when I be trying to, then when I don't feel like talking, then everybody want to talk. I just be like, ugh, can't win for lose. All right, see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to stop over here rambling.
and talking craziness. See ya.